you know, the, the traditional vision, which is to be the best, you know, or to hit some certain financial goal. Like literally the frontline person d doesn't care about that at all. That right. literally is about you, not me. Yeah. But when you, when you, um, when you say our, our, our and I will go back to the arbitrary example I gave, you know, let's say to make everybody feel safe and cared for, right? That's what we care about. And so we're going to actually give you training beyond the technical skills. We're going to give you training in, how, in human skills, right? Because we give hard skill training. We very rarely give human skills training. By the way, I hate the term soft skills. Hard and soft are opposite. Yeah, good. Um, uh, and so are we actually teaching our frontline folks how to, how, to, um, how to have resolve conflict? I mean, that happens. You know, some, somebody says, I, I don't like this work you've done. How, how does that go? Do you have any idea how that conversation is going to go when you're not there? Right. You know, are we teaching them listening skills? Are we teaching them how to give and receive feedback? Maybe they have there's two or three of them on a job and one of them is slightly more senior. Like, are we teaching them these skills that make them better at their job with each other and with the, with the customers? And by the way, those are skills they're taking home. You're making them better human beings. Um, and by making them better human beings, it makes them super loyal to the company. So I might get it offered a better job somewhere else. And, you know, there's, of course, there are minimum standards of pay that they have to meet. But at the end, but there are, once you reach those thresholds, somebody can say, I, I'd rather work here because of the way that my boss makes me feel, because of the way the company makes me feel. And I think that there's a huge opportunity in this industry, in these industries, to double down on what, quite frankly, is good leadership. Um, uh, and I think one of the reasons that the, the, these industries are considered commodities is because we treat those workers as commodities. We treat them as, as replaceable hourly workers. And so they act like commodities and they treat uh, the customers like commodities. And we've created that commodity industry. It's not necessarily the product itself.